Uh, tomorrow is scheduled to be the last day of the Supreme Court's current term. After that, the only two cases they'll be considering are pool noodle versus pool noodle and mouth versus margarita. <laughs> But, but before they go, they've got two decisions left to deliver, including this one. The biggest one we're waiting on at this point is Hobby Lobby. This is the challenge to the administration's HHS contraception mandate. That's right. Hobby Lobby, America's one-stop source for glitter and googly eyes, <laughs> could soon also be America's leading source of landmark binding legal precedents. Hobby Lobby's owners say that Obamacare's contraception mandate conflicts with their Christian faith, which means... The whole case boils down to one fundamental question. Can a business, a for-profit corporation, claim it has freedom of religion? Do for-profit corporations have religious rights? Do corporations have religious liberties or do just individuals? Are corporations a person able to exercise religious rights? Uh, no. No, they're not. <laughs> okay, are we done? Are we done here? Are we done? I feel like we're Apparently we're not done. Because... Thanks to the Citizens United ruling in which corporations were deemed to have the same free speech rights as people, it is now a possibility they may get religious rights as well. And if they do, it's going to be pretty easy to guess which religions they'll choose. Einstein Brothers? Obviously Jewish. Uh, although, they do sell bacon and are open on Saturday, so let's say more culturally Jewish than observant. Uh, meanwhile, Ben and Jerry's clearly Buddhist. Uh, although not too Buddhist, or they'd be selling you pints of cookies and nothingness. And uh, Taco Bell, I'm presuming, is Hindu, because you know there's no fucking beef in those things. <laughs> so, but in the case... In the case of Hobby Lobby, the, the company's founders are the devoutly Christian Green family. And to be fair, their faith has led them to do some genuinely admirable things.